Hi, my name is Tony Malenzi with Gum Out, and today I'm here to talk to you about our new foaming intake valve and turbo cleaner. Modern engines have changed dramatically. Now, most engines use a GDI fuel delivery system. That means that the intake is spraying fuel directly into the combustion chamber. No longer is fuel flowing over an intake valve. This allows carbon to build up on that intake valve, affecting vehicle performance and reducing your miles per gallon. By cleaning the intake valve, you restore airflow into your engine, increasing its efficiency and restoring its miles per gallon. Our foaming intake valve and turbo cleaner will also clean the entire air intake system, cleaning your throttle body, and if you have a turbo vehicle, cleaning your turbo impeller as well. One of the things we did in developing our foaming intake valve and turbo cleaner is take a look at the competitive set and different ways that you can clean intakes. Obviously, one way would be to completely disassemble the engine and walnut blast it, not something the average DIYer can do. Some of our competition, you actually open up the air intake and you dispense the product through an open air intake. The issue with that is the engine will be running during this service and anything that is in the engine compartment or close to the engine compartment may be ingested into the engine. The best way to do it is to work through a closed air intake system so your vehicle is only using filtered air and nothing can be ingested into your engine or into your turbo during the service. One of the other advantages of our product is we use a clear straw. This will allow us to see the product being dispensed into the engine while the service is happening. So before we start the service, of course we'll need to put on our safety glasses and gloves. To perform this service, we'll be adding the product to the air intake system past the air box. First thing you're going to want to do is locate your air box. That would be your, where your air filter is. Find your mass airflow sensor if your vehicle has one. And then you will see your air intake boot. You'll want to loosen the clamp. This vehicle will be using a flathead screwdriver to loosen this clamp. Loosen the clamp, insert the tube facing away from the mass airflow sensor as this product can damage a mass airflow sensor and reclamp the boot on. Then you'll want to take your can remove the safety tab that has been keeping the trigger closed and attach it to the hose. This will allow us to begin dispensing the product. One thing to be particularly aware of is you wanna make sure that you don't come in contact with the positive terminal of a battery, any moving part of your engine so that you don't hurt or injure yourself. So the next step is starting the vehicle so that we can begin to dispense the product with the engine running. This is gonna be a two person job. You're gonna need a friend to go into the vehicle and start the engine so that they can monitor the engine while you dispense the product. With the engine started, bring the vehicle up to normal operating temperature and then begin dispensing the product. As product is added into the engine, you will hear your RPMs drop and fluctuate. Your partner in the vehicle should not be trying to compensate for this. They should be attempting to continue to hold your RPM at 2000. Continue dispensing the product until about half of the can is gone. At that point, take a moment, stop dispensing product, and have your partner in the vehicle rev the engine two or three times up to 3000 RPM, but not exceeding 3000 RPM. Rev the engine two or three times, and once you get back to a steady, consistent 2000 RPM idle, continue dispensing the rest of the can into the engine. So once the product is finished being dispensed, you'll want to shut off the engine and remove the can from the tube and remove the tube from the air intake boot. Again, you're gonna to need to loosen up that clamp, slide the tube out, and retighten the clamp. Make sure it's set back to factory specs and it is properly attached. So now that you're done dispensing the product, take your vehicle on a 15 mile drive. Don't immediately get up to highway speeds. We wanna give your engine the opportunity to flush the product out and finish that cleaning cycle. Here are the results from a 2019 Ford Mustang with over 17,000 miles, the turbo compressor wheel before and after, as well as the intake valve and a 2019 Kia Soul with over 23,000 miles, the intake valve before and after, and a 2022 Volkswagen Taos with over 35,000 miles, the turbo compressor wheel before and after, as well as an intake valve before and after. We recommend that you perform this service annually. That will keep your intake valves clean, whether or not you have a turbo vehicle. But if you have a vehicle like ours here, you'll wanna keep that turbo clean as well. So once you get back from your drive, go ahead and add a bottle of gum out to your fuel tank, maintaining that work you just did and keeping your vehicle in tip top shape. Because remember, gum out maintained vehicles run better and last longer. <laughs>